Good morning, guys. Welcome to the day. It is almost 9 a.m. I'm showered. I'm ready to go. I'm primarily showered and ready to go because, like, like I've told you guys before, everybody is already headed out. Christina, Ellis, and Duncan are gone. I took Duncan to his uh, after-school program. Christina took Ellis to his daycare, and I'm here alone for the majority of the day. But I, as I was saying, I'm ready because I'm going to have company here in just a few minutes. We've done so much remodeling to our home since we moved in a few years ago, but there are still a few things that we need to do. And those involve the front and back doors because they're just 25 years old. They're not high quality. They're in rough shape. So we've got a contractor that does some of the work for us and he's going to be coming by to to take a look at it, see how much it costs to do the replacement. Several weeks ago in the vlog I showed you some doors that we picked up because we got them for a song. They were next to nothing. So hopefully he'll be able to tell us how much it would cost to put those in and how much it would cost to get a new front door and a storm door and everything just so we can actually have our front door open occasionally. And it has to be today because I've already missed him at least one time. He came by the house and just I wasn't here. I was driving across town to try to get Ellis. And it's like well I, I can't exactly be back. I'm stuck. That was the day when there was a, a big traffic wreck and I was trying to get Duncan to soccer and it just it was a mess. Now today is April 7th, which means that we're going to look at the Veda day for day eight. Day eight, what's the most adventurous thing you've done? I, uh, unfortunately, I'm not as adventurous as most people. So I've never skydived, I've never hang glided, I've never bungee jumped. I don't even do roller coasters, realistically. So in terms of like physical stuff, I guess the most adventurous thing I've done is just picking up and traveling to different places. So one of the most strenuous things that I've done was when I went to China, right near the beginning of this vlogging series, because it was like a, a day and a half trip in China. It took me about a day and a half to get there and a day and a half to get back. So I was just moving the entire time. So that was just absolute torture on my body. It was very nice to be able to say that I'd been to China, but I didn't get to see anything while I was there. In terms of other stuff, in my opinion, the most adventurous thing that I've done, this is going to be kind of a boring one. I'm a family man. I've got a wife and kids. A few years ago, I think it was 2012, I was working for the state of Kentucky. I was making not terribly great money. They say when you work for the state of Kentucky, or I think most state agencies in other states too, you take like a 20 to 30 percent pay cut to come work for the state. But the benefit of doing that is that you get into what they call the merit system. It's a system where basically they cannot fire you. Once you've been there and established your status, after six months, they can't let you go unless you've done something just absolutely horrendous. If you've hacked the state network and stolen a bunch of data, they may let you go. Other than that, they're supposed to put you on like a performance improvement plan and they're supposed to, you know, you have to get so many bad reviews and stuff. So it's really difficult to let go of bad employees. So I was working for the state. I'd been there for like a total of seven years in between leaving and coming back. But then I got a call one day from Lexmark and it's fun because I'm actually wearing my perceptive software from Lexmark shirt today. Very appropriate, I suppose. But I got a call from them offering me a contract position, meaning I wouldn't have any benefits, I wouldn't have any time off, I wouldn't have anything other than money. But the money was about twice what I was earning working for the state. So we hoed and hummed and hawed about it and basically said, Christina can handle the insurance. I'll just deal with not having any time off, or if I need to take time off, I'll just take them unpaid. So I took the leap. I took this massive adventurous jump from rock solid stability, guaranteed paycheck to this is a contract job I could be let go of any day of the week. How's our family gonna survive if that happens? Luckily, in my case, it worked out really well. Inside of, I think, five months, four months, something like that, I was taken from a contract position to a full-time position, which is pretty much unheard of at Lexmark. And I stayed on with them for a few years until I moved on to the job that I'm in now. And and I have to say, doing that, making that adventurous big leap into a different position, making that change of life, has drastically changed our lives. I mean, imagine taking your salary and doubling it. It's just unimaginable, I guess. But it's made it a whole lot easier to get by. It's made it easier to breathe. Because when you're making house payments and utility payments and car payments and daycare payments and every time you turn around, oh, he needs to, something from the dentist, he needs something from the doctor, we need new glasses, we need new clothes, we, so on and so forth. Just sort of the everyday expenditures, they really add up and that was definitely a life-changing event all begun by an adventurous leap into the unknown so I guess the thing to glean from that is don't necessarily shy away from an opportunity just because it sounds a little bit scary and I've been going on for a long time time to get some work done and the vlog is edited up to this point it took just a couple of minutes to do that our contractor friend has come he's measured and checked everything and he's gone while he was here I had him look at the front door and the back door and our deck because our deck you guys haven't seen it because it's rough and I also had and while he was here, look at my office doors. Because of course, as you can see it, big five foot opening, big opening. And basically because this is here, it's a very nice open airy section. You know, you walk into the house, the first thing you see is there's my office. There's everything in my office. The bad thing about that is if you're in here in the, the living room where the family spends the majority of the afternoons and evenings, everything that's said in here 
travels down the hallway and gets heard in here. So all the yelling, all the tromping around, you're not gonna be able to get rid of all that sound. But I think what I forgot to mention there is I had him measure and, and he's gonna give me an estimate for getting some doors put in here, some French doors. Hopefully something kind of thick, kind of sound dampening. And he mentioned something about putting a, a little swath of something at the bottom, a, a little dampening pad of some sort. So that may be an option if we decide to stay in this house. It'd make it a little bit easier to, to live here for a little while longer. Maybe even dampen the echo in this room just a little bit, which would be really nice. But it's time for my morning meeting. Well, morning meeting accomplished and I've been sort of surprisingly productive. I mean, getting day job stuff done, obviously, but I did also take a little bit of time, ran out to the garage and got my solder iron. I have not yet finished all the, the soldering stuff with this. Wanted to make sure that I had a battery that I could replace it with. I've got one and I'm just charging it up before I remove the leads and then we'll give it a test and see if that works. But I went out to the garage and our garage has just been a bit of a mess. There's still some stuff I need to work on. I don't know if you can see it over there, but this whole shelf is now basically clear. I've got a couple of things on there and obviously I've got a big stack of boxes in front of there, but that shelf has been cleared off, which means once I do actually take the time and build the new shelves, there's not gonna be a whole lot to go on them, which is really nice. It means that as we grow, as we move things around, as we organize, we'll have a place to put things, which is awesome. I also ran up into the attic. Christine has been saying for the last week or week and a half that Ellis is actually big enough now to sit in a high chair, but our high chair has been up in the attic in the garage. So I very quickly went up there and I figured while I'm going up here, let's take some stuff up. So we had a bunch of like big spare totes, plastic bins that we were storing stuff in before that were not currently. So I went ahead and took all of those upstairs. It was very easy to do that. And actually I got to use my, my DIY pulley system. There's a video on the channel showing that if you'd like to see that. Use that to bring the high chair down so I didn't have to precariously carry it down while I was in there by myself. So handy. But anyway, I've got to get back to work. And actually, as soon as I do that, I just happened to notice, I, I got a couple of messages saying that the LG G5 is now available for pre-order, I guess. It says new item coming soon on B&H's website for $750, but it comes with the phone and the VR bundle. So it comes with a VR camera and the VR headset. Whereas previously the best deal I found was for the phone with the VR camera, but not the headset for $630. And that was on T-Mobile. I'm not on T-Mobile as a primary device. These are unlocked devices. So I, I definitely don't need another phone right now, but I'm a tech reviewer, so I kind of have to. I'm gonna have to check my finances and make sure everything's okay before I do that. Well, that was a lot of thinking. Yeah, I went ahead and placed the order. It's a pre-order and it's not scheduled to ship until sometime in May. Between now and then, there will be several payments coming through between Amazon and YouTube and sponsored videos. By the way, a couple of sponsored videos coming up on the main channel, but they are things that I am genuinely really into. So yeah, I'm, I'm really looking forward to doing those videos. Not just because I'm gonna get paid to do them, but because they're gonna be good ones. So yeah, LG G5 has been ordered. The life of a tech reviewer, but the tech reviewer that's not got millions of subscribers. So I'm having to buy all my devices, but that's okay. What else would I use the money for, right? And the Gear VR video is done. I took a little bit of time, hooked everything all back up. And there were a couple other pieces that I wanted to make sure to capture because I had done like the Netflix interface and just a couple of very minimal things. And there wasn't anything really immersive and action oriented. So I did the Jurassic World simulator as well as a, a shooting sim. That shooting game, ridiculously fun. If you have the Gear VR and stuff, look for the shooting simulator too. So fun. Cause you know, you're, you're immersed in it. It feels like you're in a gun range, but you're just tapping the side of your head to, to shoot the gun. And it's so twitchy and touchy but there's this whole upgrading aspect to it. It's, I actually wanna go back and play it again right now. But other than that, I've gone ahead and hooked my soldering stuff up. I'll probably try to pull this battery off and put a new one on. Did a quick charge on this little tiny 300 milliamp hour battery. It's not gonna be quite big enough for it, but it'll probably get the job done, hopefully. And I've gotta grab some lunch, it's already afternoon. Well, that was an unadulterated waste of time. I went ahead and swapped the battery out on this thing and unfortunately the charging port is just bad so I'm not going to be able to finish that video. I, the battery that I put in there had a charge in it so in theory it should work but the, the lights come on, it doesn't pair up. I'm guessing it just doesn't have enough charge in it. Like the battery itself may not be powerful enough. I don't know. It is a 25C battery and it was replacing a 25C. <sighs> oh well, moving on. FedEx showed up, Amazon box. I just love how they ship these decent sized boxes with next to nothing in them. Oh, there are two things in here, cool. So here's the O bolt. I, this is the one I decided on, a tripod panning head so I can do time lapses, not bad. And a little bit of a surprise, ultra slim wireless charging receiver case for the iPhone 5 or 5S or uh, from what I've read, the SE. So I'm gonna give that a shot. And I finally got around to checking the mail and inside of the mail, 
There was this. It's a Bluetooth speaker from Kuchir. I'll make a quick video about it over on the main channel before too much longer. In sort of a good way and a bad way, the things to review pile is starting to pile back up again. As I mentioned in yesterday's video, the pile of things to do had dwindled significantly. That pile is now starting to grow again and I'm okay with that. Still really bummed about this little hexcopter. It's so cool and it does 720p video. I want it to work badly. But I'm guessing the only way that I could get it to actually work would be to drill a hole in the back here and feed the cable out. Like put a normal battery inside of there or maybe even attach leads to the existing battery and then put a plug on there that plugs into the board that also feeds out. So you plug them in outside of the hexcopter itself. I think that would be doable. I mean, I know where it connects to the board and I know that I could plug into it. Like I, I literally attached the battery externally to those points and it did work. So as long as I could get just a, a cable with a right plug on the end of it, I could technically make that work. And then it would be rechargeable in that way using other chargeable things, but just a shame. Really just a shame. Nice little 720p, supposedly very stable hexcopter. Can't fly it. Not even once. And it's another little while later. It's about 2.30 and uh, yeah, all the stuff that I had on the table, all the stuff that came in has been unboxed. I ended up not taking the time to unbox this one on camera. This is the rotating tripod mount time-lapse thing. I figured maybe I would go ahead and just use it a few times and then do a, a quick video about it, something like that for the main channel. So everything doesn't have to be an unboxing. I need to get that out of my head. I normally do things as unboxings and just show how the product works while I'm unboxing it, but this one in particular is gonna take some time. So I, I yeah, not worth it. Anyway, the Qi charging case for the iPhone SE, unboxed installed, working, actually tested it very quickly. I, I, it, I think I had 87, 86% battery life left and now I'm at 100. That's awesome, that works. That's Qi charging, I'm very, very pleased with that. I also unboxed this uh, Kuchir speaker. Unfortunately, not, not as impressed with that as I really would like to be. Uh, it's hooked up to my desktop as you can see where it was placed. I like the idea of having a knob that I can control the volume of my desktop with but that knob takes an awful lot of spins to get from point A to point B. So for a quick, I need to turn things down, that'd be great. But it's also got a bit of a background hiss to it. So I've got it turned down midway or so, and I can just turn it down from there if I need to. There's some sort of static interference or something to it. So those videos have been filmed and are importing. The good thing about my import script, I have two SD card readers, one built into the system and one that's USB. Because of that, when I run my script, if I have them both plugged in, it pulls in the footage for both of them. So if I go into this little imported folder, it's just taking its time pulling in all the files. So it just pulled in all the ones from the camcorder. Now it's pulling in all the ones from the G7. And I'll be done importing footage here in just a couple of minutes probably, maybe less. It just takes a little while because it's big footage. Bigfoot. Yeah. I am absolutely exhausted now. I just had a meeting. It was uh, like an hour and a half long meeting. This whole thing with, with the day job, I'm, I'm moving on to a different team, sort of. I'm gonna be working with other people. The guy that I talked to for an hour and a half there, absolutely awesome, very knowledgeable, really looking forward to getting to work with this guy, but we just went on and on for, <laughs> for uh, so long, and I've got so much that I have to learn. I'm actually gonna be taking a look at a couple of things that I haven't looked at before that I've been meaning to, like Google's Go programming language. I, I've meant to look at that and just never really had a good reason to, so I didn't. Now I'm gonna have a reason to. We've got a couple of tools apparently that are developed using that, so going through the tutorials on that. And I sat here long enough on the, the call with him that I ended up missing, I was supposed to go get Duncan at 4.15 or 4.20. It's now almost 5 p.m. Luckily, Christina came home and I was holding my laptop walking around. And as she walked in, I was standing there in the kitchen holding it and I said, I've been in a call for over an hour, help. And, and basically she took off and she went to get uh, both the boys and should be back any time now. So I'm very thankful to her for taking care of that. Boo! Everybody's home, hooray. Hello, little booger. You have a good day. <laughs> we got him some clean, dry clothes, and now he's just in the best mood ever. Yeah, he's gonna talk to me about it. Just feeling good now. Having a happy time. Yeah. Good. And time for some food. Having some, mm, barbecue. And he's gonna be a boy. You say you can sit in his high chair? Oh, buddy, you're gonna be excited about this? Hey, what do you think about that little thing? You get to sit up and be all tall with the rest of us? He's still a little bit small for it, I think, but he fits. This little pig stay home. This little piggy had roast beef. And this little piggy had none. And this little piggy went wee 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 wee.
all the way home. Boom, boom. Even little girls named R Ruthie. Ruthie all have teeth. All Ruthie are toothy. And it's much, much later. It's already after 11 p.m. Christina, Ellis, and Duncan are all in bed somehow. Ellis had his bottle at like 9.30 and then sat here and held him for maybe 45 minutes and he was just out. So I went ahead and put him to bed. Might as well. So I had a decently productive day, feeling pretty good about it. I'm not exactly panicking, but I'm starting to kind of panic because I'm two videos ahead at this point. At one point I was like five videos ahead, so it's not like I'm doing poorly. And I've got a couple of other ones I can do that are relatively quick, so I'm gonna do at least one, maybe two of those tomorrow. But the two videos that I'm ahead are the two videos that I finished up today. So I was actually on the verge of not being ahead at all. Now obviously tomorrow I'm gonna be doing a news video, so that one I could not film ahead of time. Still haven't filmed it, can't plan it or anything yet, but I think it'll be okay. I'm gonna go ahead and get footage done for another couple of videos, so I will be planned and prepped through the middle of next week, hopefully, because as I've kind of alluded to, we are going out of town this weekend. Still not gonna tell you where we're going. I don't think I've told you yet. Kind of want it to be a surprise, not that it's gonna really make any difference. And hopefully you enjoyed that little bit of a motorized rotating pan earlier. I just was experimenting with it, and I kind of like the way that it turned out. I'm very happy to have that again. Just kind of wish that it was a little bit more configurable, meaning I wish that I could set the, the panning speed. But oh well, what are you going to do? But you know what? I'm going to go ahead and get back to work. I'm going to see if there's anything else that I can finish up or, or any other videos that I have in the works that I can get ready to finish up tomorrow. So as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for spending the day with me and my family, although it's mostly been me again. And we will see you again tomorrow. Bye guys.